What's going on everyone? Uh, I just want to talk about fixtures and jigs and how simple and easy they are to make and how much they can make your job easier. Uh, a lot of people have the misconception that they have to be these big elaborate things and they don't. Um, so I have a couple here that I've made. So these right here, I needed to make a square. So I made four of these. And so I had a, a perfect perfect square and in the corner of each it needed a precise two by two. So I quickly machined up a two by two block and yeah, put the piece up against it, piece up against it, clamp it all down. Same thing on the other four and that's all that was involved in that one. Uh, this one are all those small rings I was doing so the ring I wish I had one to show but the ring actually goes in here and then the pipe comes down and you clamp it and then tack it here tack it here unclamp it spin it and it stays in here that way it has the proper height the whole way around after it's untack and pull it out do the next one this one is for all those stainless things I was making. This goes in here and it's got holes in the side to line up the pin. Then it gets clamped in. Tack, tack. Flip it out. Once it's tacked, turn it around. Clamp it back down, tack the other side, and it's all done. And with this one, I, it's got the pre-bow for when it pulls. So when these pull, uh, uh, that, that, that one. so after I'm done welding, it's in the right position it needs to be. Whereas if you didn't have that pre pre uh pre torque see how that one's not 90 this was done with a, a different picture that somebody else made so that's that one and this one this is the same as that one but for uh a different size they're bigger uh, this doesn't fit it's for the bigger size of those um, but the same principle it's got the pre-bow uh, so when it comes back it's in the right position uh, these right here are for all those jobs that have the nut on the end different sizes um, so the nut sits up here and then the shaft sits in here so it's at the right height when it's welded in place. Same thing with this one. Now, the, and this one's adjustable because there's a couple of different sizes of nuts. And uh, so the nut goes in here. And this right here is for, um, there's a ring like this. It's a full ring though. <clears throat> it's a full ring and the ring sits in here and the tube goes through it. So that lines the the, uh, the ring up with the nut itself. And then this one is real simple. It's got two little holes, not two little nubs. They line up. This sits, this sits against it. And then I recommend highly recommend getting a finger uh, it helps keep everything in place so when I tack this there's enough weight on it to hold it down so they don't pull up and that, that's all I got here uh, that I know of um, I don't think I have any more pictures pick lying around right here um, but yeah it, it, 
they don't need to be elaborate they don't need to be fully machined uh, we do have some I have some on the other side of the shop that are machined for precision um, government type work um, but you don't for, for most everyday stuff use what you have lying around uh, as long as it's dimensionally right and it gets you where you need to do especially when you have to do repeatability um, like these things uh, like those rings the little rings I did probably 1500 of those in a week and a half or whatever it was two weeks so having that repeatability and a quick way of doing it versus trying to measure every single one would have taken forever um, same thing with the little uh, ears you know if I had to measure every single one of those uh, the ones that go in this um, that would take forever uh, I did probably 2,000 of those things in the last couple of months. It would take forever if you had to measure everything every time. So just when you're, you're trying to do stuff around the shop or at your job or whatever, look at the best possible way to make a little fixture or a jig or, or something. Um, if you have a fixture table, uh, the, the tables with the holes in it, I wish they had one here. I have one at my shop. Um, those are amazing. They make so many different fixtures and uh, things that you can put in the hole in it, like for stops and whatnot. There, there's endless things you can do uh, with them. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, later.